Welcome, Wildcat fans, to week number five of high school football. I'm Scott Spicer, joined alongside Ryan Huffman, and we're at Finley's Donnell Stadium to see the Wildcats take on the Finley Fighting Trojans. And uh, let's first uh, take a brief minute to hear what Coach Snow had to say about last week's game and warming up for tonight's contest. Welcome to the fifth week of high school football. I'm joined alongside head coach John Snow of the Napoleon Wildcats as they head into Finley to face the Finley Trojans this Friday night. And uh, first, let's uh, talk a little bit about ratings in case the public doesn't uh, know it. The Wildcats right now in the uh, computer point. Yeah, right now we're holding down second in our computer region and the top four teams make it. Uh, and that's, that's great right now. But the guys know that that's temporary if yeah. we don't continue to perform. So, you know, we can't get caught up in it. Just use it as a motivating force right now. Uh, and, and, you know, of course, everybody thinks that the, the state poll, the press writer's poll and the computer are tied to each other. And I think we should make it clear that the press writer's poll is, is strictly a press writer's poll. It's, it's, a, it's basically they vote. So it doesn't have any bearing on who makes the playoffs. Uh -huh. And we're not ranked at all in that right now. So... You know, we apparently haven't done anything to gain, garner their respect yet. So, uh, But right now, it's great to be where we're at, and uh, we're going to keep shooting to stay on top. Okay. Uh, great job last Friday night. And, uh, Brian, anything you'd like to touch on uh, on the Brian game? Yeah, I thought the first half was our best half all year. I mean, physically, we pounded them pretty good. Uh, and I thought all night we got to their quarterback, and uh, he was hurting after that <laughs> ball game. We had a lot of pressure on him. I think we had four or five sacks, but... We must have hit him another five or six times in addition to that. So that was a great night for our defense. Offense in the first half was unstoppable. Second half, we had letdowns. Um, we, we, we had a lot of kids get in the ball game by halftime even. So, you know, I, it just wasn't a good second half yeah. performance. And the guys know that, and they weren't satisfied with the win either. So, Okay. Uh, now uh, we uh, head to the road for the third week in the row. Uh, we go to Finley, uh, down I-75, the Finley Trojans. What does uh, this year's Finley team bring to the ball game? Well, they block out the sun, Scott. <laughs> they're pretty big. they got a lot of wide bodies. Uh, at tackle, they're 320 and 330. So, uh, yeah, they're pretty big. They're pretty big. They probably had to go to Green Bay or someplace to get shoulder pads for those guys. Uh, but, they're, but, you know, the, what they have in size, they're, they're not going to be as quick. Yeah. So I think that's to our advantage. Quarterback 6'2", he's a three-year starter. That's the coach's son, and he's the feature. They're, they're going to try and uh, put him in the spotlight. They're going to shotgun trips. If you're a football fan and you like wide open offense, then you'll want to come to, to Finley. It's just going to be that kind of a night for our defense. So uh, defensively, they, they do a lot of different looks, but I think we can do some things to them. So they're going to be big. They've got some good skill people. They're tall, uh, but hey, the bigger they are, the harder they That's fall. That's right. Uh, Keys to the Wildcats' victory tonight. Four quarters of play. Yeah. We can't play a half of football against these guys. Uh, they're going to be more physical than Brian was. There's no question about that. They're bigger. Uh, they're, they're more mature. Brian was a very, very young team. Yeah. These guys are more junior-oriented, so they're stronger. Uh, they got a year under their belt, and their junior class is their big class. So. All righty. Well, uh, Coach, and good luck. Thanks, Scott. And thank you, yep. and uh, hopefully we can bring home another victory and go 3-0 and on the road. So, uh Hey, enjoy the game. Just about ready for the opening kickoff here. The Wildcats are three and one and on a roll. And uh, the Finley Trojans are two and two under head coach Cliff Height. We're, on, uh, we're gonna see the uh, Finley Trojans go to work on offense first. Oh, that was a long, long punt uh, by Matthew Russell. He took it down there at about the one yard line, number 27. Mike Iridi still on his feet. Breaks it out across the 40. Tackled by the kicker, Matthew Russell, to about the 43-yard line. So give him that much on the return. That ball was kicked almost right down to the end zone. So here come the Finley Trojans under quarterback Ryan Height. And uh, he has, of course, the coach's son, Coach Cliff Height. And... Uh, uh, he's got some big guys up there blocking for him. Uh, two 320-pounders and two of that are in about the 290s or so. John Singh and Owen Merrill. And, uh, wow, 
Finley likes to pass. They have a lot of tricks, a lot of trips. They work out of that shotgun. Ryan Height still on his feet. Brought down by number 65, Buzz Kramer. Ryan uh, Huffman, tell us a little bit about that Finley offense. This is definitely the strength of this football team is their offense. As they like to throw the football, and they, they'll tell everybody that that's what they want to do. And they came out with uh, three wide receivers there and had one back in the backfield. Their big offensive lineman just couldn't contain the Wildcat uh, defensive lineman. They're, they're big, but I think the Wildcat defensive linemen are much quicker, and that's what they're going to have to do is get to the quarterback if they want to be successful. Yep. Here's uh, Hyde again. Almost intercepted by number 36. I think that was 32 no, Brooks Pedraza. No, it was Pedraza. 32 Brooks Pedraza. As Brooks Pedraza saw that the screen was coming as the back just yeah. snuck out there and uh, he read it right. Almost had the interception. Uh, Brooks Pedraza back to the Wildcats. Yeah, but... This uh, Finley team, they like to go to the air, as you said, very much their strength. I don't know. We'll have to see how Finley is on defense. Now that we see might the be their weakness. Yep, they're coming out of the shotgun now. Oh, there it was to number 30. That was uh, Dane Witted. Brings the ball up to the 40-yard line. And, uh, wow, the Finley Trojans are going to have to punt. They had a fourth and a long a 12 there. Wildcats, I think, had a great uh, week of practice. We're warmed up and ready to fight these uh, Finley Trojans. Oh, that uh, punt could have been blocked there by a Kramer. And if we can get a number on the... The Finley punter was uh, asking for roughing roughing the kicker but he uh didn't get it because the referee said that the uh block the punt was blocked and tipped and that's why he did not get the call as the wildcats did run into him and i was corrected by uh mr mike nye on my question about uh a safety and he said that it is always kicked off or it's called a free kick from the 20 yard line you have the choice of kicking off or punting okay and uh that was uh kramer and peach in there on that punt. It looked like that uh, snap was a little bit low there for the Finley Trojans. And here's a quarterback, Scott Rex, and his Wildcats going into action. Hey, the give to Kenny Peach. He's on his feet. If he could break a few tackles. Oh, ball pops out. They're going to call him down. The ground. They're going to call, gonna him, call down. him down. Okay, that's a, I guess you'd call that a break for the Wildcats with 10.27 left in the first. Wow. A little bit scary. Gave 20 yards for uh, Kenny Peach on the first play of the game for the Wildcats. All righty. Kenny Peach is uh, Brick Pedraza. Hustles out of there. Here's uh, Matthew Russell in motion. He comes down to this side of your screen. Flag on the play. We had uh, Kramer and Peach in the backfield. Well, a little bit of illegal motion on the Wildcats. Something that uh, I think the keys to the game for the Wildcats are uh, playing the full four quarters of ball. Uh, and it's also uh, what Coach Snow said in his opening. Full four quarters uh, cannot have the mistakes that we've been having. And uh, right away, there's almost a fumble and then that penalty. But big runs. Here's Kramer across the 50 in the Finley Trojan uh, territory down to about the 44 yard line of Finley. Nice run by Kramer right up there. Good enough for a first down with 9.38 left in the first quarter. That's it, ball on the Finley's 44 yard line. Coach Snow especially stressed the uh, consistency on the offensive side of the football as the Wildcats. Uh, they've been letting down the second half as they haven't been doing much uh, with the football but he wants to see that for four quarters tonight in tonight's football game. All right, Wildcats going to go to war. Scott Rex and his Wildcats moving the ball down the field. There's Brooks Pedraza. Maybe a gain of about one for Brooks. Oh, they give him uh, yeah, a long, long one. Second down and nine. Four-year hometown to point Wildcats. This is NCTV. Channel 5, your hometown public 
Access Channel, bringing you the best that we have to offer. Rex over center. The give to number eight, Ryan Kramer. He cuts it up into about three or four Finley defenders, and he's dropped down for a pickup of about three yards. Excuse me, four. They're down at five. Wildcats want to really cut down on the penalties for, as uh, they've been close to almost 100 yards each yep. week in penalty yardage, and uh, that's something they really want to cut down. They'd rather see that in uh, positive yardage for the offense. Here's Rex again. Dahl fakes the give to 32 Pedraza. Cuts it up for a gain of just about two Wildcats. Seem to be running off to the right side there. Going to bring up fourth down. Excuse me. That is fourth down and two for the Wildcats. Hard to believe that those downs went that fast. Maybe this uh, Finley uh, defense is tightening up a little bit. Wildcats had a few big runs. I don't know if the Wildcats are going to go for this. I think they are going to go for it as a... Uh the coaching staff doesn't seem that they'll gain much by punting from here. Yep. So they're just going to go for it and uh, hopefully get the first down. If not, they'll just put their defense back on the field. And a uh, uh, defense that Coach Note has a lot of confidence in. Hey, good enough for a first down for the Wildcats. That's a big momentum gainer there, I think, for the Wildcats early on, being able to just run right over that Finley defense. I like the, what the Wildcats are doing. They're taking it straight at them in the Wildcat offensive line, which is improving every, every week as they're opening big holes for the Wildcats. Wildcat tailbacks. Ryan Kramer already has 26 yards rushing on three carries. So, yep. uh, and they're getting the ball to Ryan Kramer, who is their uh, big, uh, big weapon out of the on the offense. And he is like, I think he's sixth in the area and scoring with uh, seven touchdowns. Okay, here's Rex again. Coach No really happy with uh, Rex's performance last Friday night at Bryant. When he uh, ran a touchdown in, just shows his versatility, and we've been talking about that all year, Ryan Kramer. Just such a great, or excuse me, Ryan Huffman. Just a great job that he can do and uh, a great job that he does. This play has been improving each week, and uh, that's good to see out of uh, yeah. out of your players is when you can watch them improve each week. And uh, from year to year, as he's done so far, is he's only thrown uh, two interceptions for the Wildcats, and that's a definite positive compared to five touchdowns. So... He's really improved at throwing the football, and we've seen him run the football very well for the Wildcats. Oh, boy, I don't know what happened, but the uh, Finley Trojan uh, side here was sure happy. There's a sack of five against the Wildcats with 6.15 to go. Wildcats got third down and 15. All righty. So third down and 15 for your hometown Wildcats. Ball on about the 34. Rex goes to the air. He's got a man. Interception number 21. Mick Bloomfield, the DB, comes up with that one. But... The Finley Trojans are going to be deep, deep in their own territory by uh, the looks of their first offensive drive. I don't know if they'll be able to come out of this one. The Wildcats were looking to get a big play, and uh, he had Ryan Kramer open down the sideline, but he overthrew him just a little bit, and uh, the Finley defensive back was waiting for him. Yes, he was. Uh, Kramer, he was running right up the sideline there, and he sure was ready. So here comes Finley. We've got uh, two whiteouts to this side, one up top, uh, one man in the backfield, number uh, six, Ben Farnsworth in motion. Height. Looks like he might have kept that one. I think that they was were, Ryan Height. I think they were leading, just trying to give themselves out, self out of away from the goal line a little bit. They just went with a quarterback keeper right behind his big offensive line. He, he gained about three yards. This offense is something else that uh, we'll see here tonight. They, they, they just they run a lot of traps and tricks. Fake punt, you might see it every once in a while. So you always have to keep, or they always want to keep 
the opposing defense on their toes. Height, nothing doing there. Uh, number 70. That's got to be Lee Zamora. For 74, of course, was in there. Uh, Might have caused a little bit of disturbance on that play. 519 left in the first quarter. I think Lee Zamora got his big arms up in the air. And, yep. uh, not uh, The ball clipped one of his arms and uh, caused the pass to fall up short. I just I don't know how Finley can always risk it trying to pass and never trying to establish at least a ground game with the big guys they got. Shoot, they ought to be able to get guys running through holes big enough to drive Mack trucks through. But they want to go to the air. Hyde in his own end zone. Gets the ball. Uh, is that, that's complete. Incomplete. Incomplete. I think his wide receiver dropped. There wasn't any reason for yeah. him to drop it. This is a perfectly thrown pass, and he's right there. He just so, must have dropped it. Here's Finley with a fourth down and eight. Never tried to run the ball once. And they're going to have to punt. I just, I don't know how it can work early on in the, in the game. I think you've got to take time to set up your run your run game before you can go to the passing like they do. Well, the Wildcats and aren't worried about the running game, so they're gonna they're expecting the passing game. That's what they're that's what this Finley offense does. Whoa! Brad Cordes was tackled just about. Well, they went through the coaches, through the players on our side, and almost into our the uh, yellow benches you can see over there. The Finley Trojans may be trying to uh, set up their run with the pass by throwing the ball, throwing the ball, and then they'll try and hit you with a quick one and when you're not ready for it and that may be how they establish their running game. That could be. That could be with 459 in the first quarter. But I think uh, you'll be able to put this Wildcat defense up against the uh, Fenley offense all night long. But hey, the Wildcats are going to go to work well inside the Finley territory. 32 Brooks Pedrazzo barrels his way up over across the 30 to about the 20 20 We'll call that that 29-yard line. Second down and a long six. Four than a point, Wildcats. This is Jimmy James bringing the play in to Scott Rex and Josh Fruth checking out. And here they come. Luke Glick in the game, of course. He's got the big white pad on there. Luke Glick at center. Here's Rex with the full house backfield. Up. To number 36, Kenny Peach. Again, working on the right side. Has a lot of faith in his men on the right side. We've got a couple Trojan. Well, one Trojan on the ground. He's already got a cast on it, looks like. Let's see if we can't get his number as a training staff comes out there for Finley. 200 pound senior, 5 foot 10 inches. A defensive tackle. He's all taped up. All right, uh, this game, of course, starts our uh, GLL series at Clay next week and then home versus Fostoria, which is our homecoming. Be nice to go uh, get a. F uh, well, we, we'll talk about that later. Here's Scott Rex. Third down and three for your Napoleon Wildcats. Full house backfield, the keeper. Right up the middle. The referee went right up to the forward motion. He was right at about the stick. I think with the forward motion, the Wildcats are going to have the uh, first down. They're going to, let's see, time out for measurement. The Wildcat offensive line just blew off the ball, and yep. they really did it quick, and it sent Finley back about three or four yards so the Wildcats could get the first down, I think, the first down. We'll see how the measurement comes out. Oh, yeah. And it is a first down. By about a football. Chalk another one up for me as I was right again. That's right. My eyes never That's do right. <laughs> First down and 10 for the Wildcats. At about, we're going to call that 23-yard uh, line. First down and 10. Okay. Here comes the Wildcats offense. Full house backfield again. Wildcats uh, looking to run. Rex. They gave up the middle to 32. Brooks Pedraza. He's across into the 10. 5. Still on his feet. Touchdown, Wildcats. And there we have it, folks. Brooks Pedraza from 23 yards out. 
touchdown right up the middle stayed on his feet I think uh, and goes back to those fundamental drills you do before practice he was uh, doing some uh, tapioca staying on his feet getting in there Ryan Huffman yeah Brooks Pedraza did a real good job uh, running but I'd like to give most of credit to the uh, Napoleon offensive line as they hey. opened up another hole probably Luke Glick and uh, the left side of the line the middle probably guards and uh, center opened up a big hole he went right through it broke a couple tackles he did the rest after the first seven yards were gained by the Napoleon offensive line good job by the whole team effort and uh, the PAT is uh, good seven to zero with 327 left in the first quarter and ladies and gentlemen it doesn't get any better than that the Wildcats pounding it out on the ground the ground game the mules oh yeah so the Wildcats defense is going to go to work now but wow Brooks Pedraza you know yeah he had uh, some commentary with us in the first half of last week before our microphone broke and uh, wow he gets back in there coming off his injury and phew, touchdown from 23 yards out Brooks Pedraza I think he's added fuel uh, just I think the Wildcats have to have Brooks Pedraza he's just all around all around he adds another Blocks, dimension runs. to uh, yeah he does to uh, the Napoleon rushing attacks he adds up some power as Ryan Kramer and Br Brad Cordes really add some speed. He adds a lot of power to the Napoleon rushing game. And the, I like what the Wildcats are doing. They're really establishing the rushing game right now. This could really open up for some deep passes later in the game by Scott Rex, like last week when Scott Rex was able to hit Sergio Morales. Yeah. Uh, as that really surprised Brian Golden Bears, and that could really open up some things now for now and in the second half. There it goes, deep again. This is 27. Here ready. Mike Garrity. Mike's uh, junior, six foot junior, brings the ball out to, uh, what are they gonna call it? 27 yard line. First down and 10 for the Finley Trojans. And uh, let's see what a Finley has to do. You know, now the pressure's on for them to uh, get a score. Just doesn't seem like things are working for Finley right now. Two men in the back, or no, that's, excuse me, one man in the backfield. They're coming out of the shotgun. Height drops back, goes to the air. Has number seven, Ben Roethlisberger. He's up across the 50 into Wildcat territory at about the 48-yard line. Brought down finally by Josh Ruth and John Huddle. All right, first down for Finley, and I guess... Uh, that's a little bit about how they moved the ball. As uh, Height had uh, plenty of time back there. Coming out of the shotgun. Here are the Trojans again. The give is to number 30, Dan Witted. He turns it up for another Finley Trojan first down. Maybe Finley is uh, woken up. This Finley team is very different from the Finley team that we saw last year, as they really like to run the ball with uh, the running back named Ball. I think he had many different names, as we pointed out last year. <laughs> but he ran the, uh, he could really run, and that, that's what the the Finley uh, offense was based around. This Finley coaching staff is is really diversified, as they really go with what their uh, talent provides them. And this year, it provides that they uh, are able to pass the football. Height drops back. Goes to the air again. Oh, and overthrew everyone. Kramer, Huddle, and number seven, Ben Roethlisberger again. That was his intended receiver, of course. 307 left in the first quarter. Third down and one. Ball is on the Wildcat 39-yard line. Height, plenty of time. Goes to number 83. Ryan Imke. Good enough for a Finley Trojan first down. That's something the Wildcats can't allow is for Height to get all kinds of time or else he yeah, will he find someone plenty. to, uh, he'll pick us apart. And so 
the Wildcat defensive line has really got stepped up this week and really put pressure on Ryan Height. Height, again, goes to the air. Oh, through the hands of number four, Ryan Truax. Gonna bring up second down and 10 for the Finlay Trojans. The give. Oh boy, 30. Turns it up to the, the 20. Flag. There's a flag. 10, 5. I uh, think that's going to be a clip on okay. Finley. Could be. But I think the guy that no did the clipping is down. Is is hurt. I saw the clip on the. Okay. Ryan Huff right is the spot the where he's, uh, Yep. On the ground right there. And Send Finley back a little bit. Second down and 25. Wow. Second down and 25. They've got some yardage to make up. All righty. Two uh, men in the backfield. Height out of the shotgun. There was a draw to number six, Ben Farnsworth. Pickup of not enough. Third down and 21 to go. Second down and 14 left. 2.14 left. In the first quarter. Height again. Out of the shotgun. He's going to go to the. Oh! Decides to keep it. I don't think he's going to have enough. No. So Finley's going to have to punt. It'd be foolish to try anything else against this wild. Oh, but I think they're Coach going Cliff Height wants a timeout. They might. If he thinks his uh, team can do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'd like to see this. We'll, we'll have the chance to. Height. Out of the shotgun, two men in his backfield, and no. two, and he drops back in trouble, but he gets it off into the air to, oh, and nothing doing. Rothel, Rothelsberger was there, but I guess you want to say he might have been in the wrong area. I think the ball is really underthrown. If he, uh, yeah. if Height throws it five yards farther, it might be a touchdown, as uh, it looked like Ryan Kramer stumbled, and, uh, Roethlisberger was open. But the Wildcats were in there, though. Getting in height. Face. <laughs> well, first, so, 139 left from Brooks Pedraza to give. Oh, and the ball popped out, but they're going to call him down, I'm sure. As they just kind of laid him back, and the ball came right up over his helmet and shot right out of there, kind of like a slingshot. Kind of. 115 and ticking in the first quarter. 7 to 0 in favor of your hometown Wildcats. Brooks Pedraza now has 32 yards rushing on four carries for the Wildcats. He's their leading rusher. Okay. Haven't really had a chance to see Finley go to work. Having a tough time with those Wildcats. Here's uh, Brooks Pedraza. Gain of about five. Nineteen, uh, no, twelve seconds, excuse me. Rex drops back. Goes to the air into number seven, Brad Cordes. Good enough for a Wildcat. First down across the 50 in to Finley Trojan Territory to the 49. That was a great catch by uh, Br Brad Cordes. Great athletic move as he, yeah. 
He just he brought it right in. For the ball to come out towards the uh, sideline more, but it was thrown behind him. He managed to turn his feet around. Great footwork and uh, made a great catch. So here come the Wildcats in Finley territory with six seconds left in the first quarter. Rex over center, Luke Glick. They give to number eight, Ryan Kramer. Over across the 40 to the 30. He could go all the way to the 10-5. Touchdown, Wildcats. And wow, the fans are going crazy over there. There's a flag on the field, but I think it's unsportsmanlike conduct on either the Wildcats or Finley. One of the two, but the touchdown will count. And the play covered 49 yards wow. for the Wildcats. I was about ready to say yep. that up. We hadn't seen Ryan Kramer touch the ball for a, quite a while, and sure enough, the Wildcats yep. give it to him, and he uh, I was talking responds to the, at the touchdown. The, the uh, Wildcat uh, players, and they were saying how uh, their, uh, their defense is a little weak, and then if they could exploit the weaknesses of their defense, then uh, they thought they'd be all right here tonight. And, well, Wildcats right now have uh, 13 points to Finley's none. How's it feel out there, Ryan? I can't really tell. Okay, maybe we'll have to check it out at halftime. A little bit chilly out there. Can't believe the drastic change in the temperature. Oh, there's gotta be a flag there. I was I Finley? never did hear who the penalty was on. Either did I. The ans I I know it was on sportsmanlike conduct, but I do not know which team it was on. Encroachment, Finlay. Penalties tonight. Coach Cliff Heights got to wonder what's going on now. I just still can't understand how he can pass so much. The kick is up and good. 14 to nothing, and there you go, Wildcats. Wow. Wildcat offense again comes up with another big play as it doesn't seem like it'd be a, qu a quick strike offense the way they uh, continue to run the football, but they managed to get big plays. Ryan Kramer, you get the ball in his hands, and you know something's good going to happen. Yep. Something good is going to happen. And the Wildcats just managed to keep getting big play after big play. They seem to get one every every first quarter, at least early in the second quarter in the first half to get yep. some real momentum, and they were able to carry it out throughout the entire football game. Yes, sir. Wildcat, uh, I think, really shocked a lot of people coming out with that second rating there in the computer points. I think the officials came out with offsetting unsportsmanlike conduct penalties. Ooh. So maybe there's a little talking going on down there. You think, Ryan? I maybe think Finley's there might telling. Have been. Maybe Finley's telling the point what uh, they think, and uh, the point's probably saying something like, "Well, look at the scoreboard." Maybe something like that. Here's Matthew Russell kicking it deep right there. He put it right on the end zone to number 27, Irritated. He gets out eh, about, to the, about to the 30. Going to put him at about the 28, I believe. All righty, so see if Finley can muster anything up here, but I think Wildcats' defense is just awesome. They're doing a really great job. They're not they're not breaking. They're not giving up any big plays in the passing game, and uh, they're really snuffing out this uh, the Finley rushing attack as they did once again. 61, Chad Warnemeyer, uh, two uh, players, I think, uh, Zamaripa and uh, Pedraza had uh, the runner uh Brought down at his feet, but then Mortimer just came flying over there and put him right on his back. That runner was number 30, Dan Witted, and uh, he picked up no gain. So here's a Finley and Ryan Height. Height. Oh, long snap. Height in trouble. Somehow scoops it up. That's a loose ball. Zamo Ripa, I think, has control of it. I think Black I don't know. Then Black. But the uh, early indication is Finley. Kenny Pete's going crazy down there. Ran right into John Huddle, high-stepping it. He's psycho. He's I, psycho. 
I think what he's upset about is Lee Zamrupa didn't fall on the football. He looked to pick it up and run it in for a touchdown, and uh, the Finley Trojans did recover. Yeah, that's Lee was trying to pick it up, but that's a that's a loss of 20. We got third down. Third down and 30. 30. Wow. Wildcats just can't get lazy on this play and give up a big play. If the, I guess if Finley wants to show their passing team, I guess the time would be now. Height, plenty of time, goes to the air. Too long, too long. That was number four, and give him the laziness award for the day. Just kind of trotting out there, Ryan Truax. The Finley Trojans are in desperate need of something, and their team is just trotting. Ryan Height on the day is two for eight for 34 yards. <laughs> the punt is up. Wildcats again going to have great, great field position. Kramer to the 35. Brought down somewhere around the 34. With 10.08 left in the first half, Wildcats are going to go to work inside Finley Trojan territory. This is NCTV Channel 5, your hometown public access channel bringing you the best that we have to offer. I'd like to thank the Henry County Bank for bringing you all the point Wildcat football. Ryan Huffman. The Wildcats have been getting very favorable field position all day uh, starting on the Finley side of the football field and uh, that really makes it a lot easier to score when you only have to go half the field. Okay, let, uh, let's see. Uh, That was uh, number seven, Brad Cordes. Pickup of two yards. Excuse me, he got more than that. I'd say about... I gave him a game of four, Scott. Yeah, I'll give him four, too. Second down and six, that'll bring up for the Wildcats. So we're going to have uh, Peach, Kramer, Cordes in the backfield. The full house backfield. Rex, the give to Peach. Peach stood up and dropped down for a gain. Oh, uh, give him up too. Going to bring up third down and five now. It's going to be a long five. Wildcats are going to take their second time out of the game to each coach, respectively. Got Anthony White in the game coming down here on this side of your screen. We've got a Kramer and Peach in the backfield. Rex, going to go to work. Rex, fakes the give, drops back. Goes to the air. Oh, and Ryan Crandall, I think, was uh, he stopped back to look at it or look for it, and uh, nothing doing there. Well, all the cats punt, or is there going to be a field goal try here? I think we're going to have a field goal I try. I think so. Good luck, Matthew Russell. It's going to be a 47. Whoa. 42. No. 47-yard field goal. Yep. Well, something about field goals that intrigue me. Just a little low. Put it in there. I think he had the distance, just not the height. It just it didn't fell at about the T on the Trojans' uh, little bag there that's uh, holding the... Uh, it's the, right on line, but I don't know that it ever got high enough to be... Uh, to. Well, yeah, had the distance, not the height. And don't think that ever throughout its flight of the football that it, did it get over the crossbar. Hey, there's a, here comes Finley already. That was a pass to number seven, Rufflesburg completed. Gain of about four. 
Second down and six. Eight nineteen in the first half. Finley's height over to Rothelsberg. Rothelsberg still on his feet. Going to try and cut it up. Brought down by number 66. That's Rob Moden. Rob Moden in the game. Robbie Moden, number 66. Rothelsberger made a really good move there as he turned out Ryan Kramer around. And Kramer slipped and he was able to get a couple extra yards to get the first down. Height, they give to number six, Farnsworth. Little game. Hmm. Pick up of two, I think uh, we're going to call it second down and eight. Second down and eight. Number 63 is a big boy. <laughs> he is <laughs> really big. He doesn't seem to move too well for, uh, and that could be where uh, the Wildcats are going to look to exploit as they can uh, Ooh, really get and, some uh, pressure on the quarterback if they can get around that kid. And 83, we got Ryan Imke, incomplete pass. There's another drop pass by uh, Finley Trojan wide receivers. They're really having trouble catching the football. Third down and eight now for Finley. Height out of the shotgun. Goes to the air. Hey. He found number 87. Chris Thomas. Good enough for Finley Trojan. Uh, first down and Coach Cliff Height. He was going crazy. First half. Height. I the shotgun again. Goes to the air. Wide open, Roselsberg down to the 20. Another first down. Ryan Kramer had very excellent coverage, but uh, Roethlisberger was able to get inside of him and was able to make the catch. Here's Hyde again. Plenty of time in trouble. Brought down for the sack. A loss of at least... 15, but not more than 20. Twelve? Loss of 12. Second down and 21. So, Finley again backs themselves up. Way, way back. Height again out of the shotgun. Decides to keep it up across the 30 to the 25 and uh, real close to the 20. Not enough for a first down, but uh, it's going to bring up third down. And, oh, I'm going to have to call it 11. 518 left. In the first half, 14 to nothing in favor of your hometown, Napoleon Wildcats. We're gonna see Height going to work. He's got two wideouts to the bottom part of your screen, one up top, two in the backfield, and himself working out of the shotgun. Goes to the air again. Number seven, Roethlisberger. Are they gonna call it a catch? No, 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 no. And I think he clearly did not have that one. He pulled the old uh, cheetah-roo, I think, on that one. That was one of the worst, worst thrown footballs I've ever seen. Yeah, it, it just, just seemed to go straight up in the air. And Roethlisberger made an attempt to uh, come back to the football, and it was close, but I think it hit the ground first. And I'm not real sure what happened on that pass play. It must have slipped out of Ryan Height's hand. Oh, boy. 
Coach Height likes to go for fakes. Uh, yeah. The Wildcats seem we to be ready seen... for it as they're set up in like a regular defensive position. They're going to kick it. Is it good? It's it is good. good. But three is not as good as seven, I'll tell you that right now. Somehow the Finley Trojan fans are happy. But hey, Wildcat fans are standing up over there giving their cats a round of applause. 4.49 left in the first half. Still plenty of time for the Wildcats to go to work and put some points on the board. 14 to 3. Up here, nice and warm. Yes. I'll let you make the trek. And uh, Houston puts it deep to about the five yard line. Here comes Ryan Kramer up across the 20, straight up across the 25 to about the 38 yard line. Wildcats coming back to work. This is what I like when the Wildcats go to work. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Wow. I see the bands brought out their parkas. I didn't know that it was that cold outside. Well, Ryan, it's down there, let me tell you. Anytime you drop from, well, what were we around, the 80s and 90s to 56, 50s, it's going to seem cold. Pedraza, gain, give him six. Uh, it might be seven. I'll give him six, guys. Yeah, six will work. Six will work. I'll compromise there. Yeah, second down and four. Right with Ryan Kramer's long touchdown run of 49 yards, he is the Wildcats' leading rusher thus far in the football game with 75 yards on five carries. Brooks Pedraza has 43 yards on six carries. Oh, Brooks Pedraza, gain of about two. Bring up third down and two. Three fifty-two. to three. Rex over his center, Luke Glick. Got Anthony White in the game. Oh, no. The first one I saw all over was 77. Greg Bach. Greg Bach. <laughs> I think it was a little uh, not understanding of what the... Uh, he was flying was. off. He was, he I think was he was one, off. one step early. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, he flew off. Third down and seven now. A small chore for the Wildcats, a small chore. Nothing that they won't be able to handle. Get confidence in our offense. 309 and ticking in the first half. Rexy. Drops back. Oh, no, overthrew Kenny Peach on the little pass out there to the flats. And the Wildcats are going to get through almost two quarters is that the Wildcats only have two penalties for 10 yards. That'll work. <laughs> that they can work with. Kramer. Gets it up to 21, and Brad Cordes with the hit you could hear in the press box. That's one of those ones when uh, you hear on college football or pro football, they say, oh, we heard that one up here, we heard that one up here. Well, NCTV heard that one up here. Put us up with the John Maddens and the Pat Summerall's. 249. We are the names you come to think of after John Madden and Pat Summerall, Scotty. <laughs> the voice of the Wildcats. At least maybe in Henry Huffman, County, maybe. 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 Height goes to number 83, Thomas. Thomas cuts it up across the 40 in uh, to about the 45-yard line. Good enough for a Finley Trojan first down. But Finley, they'll usually have a couple good plays and then some setbacks. And you know how it goes. We've seen them in action already. That was 83. Brian, Ryan Imke. Oh, 
Coach Cliff Ike wants a timeout. And he gets it. Our hometown public access channel bringing you the best that we have to offer. I'd like to thank the Henry County Bank for bringing you the boy and Wildcat football. Don't forget about your homecoming moms. Running out of time to get those homecoming moms. You've got about two weeks. You know the deal. Height. Roethlisberger, this is going to be a... Uh, Oh, and that was just out of the hands of the outreach hands of Nate Spicer. Second down at 15. 14 to 3. The Trojans looked for a trick play there, but the Wildcats were very disciplined, did not go out their receivers as they gave a reverse to Roethlisberger, who then looked to throw. And uh, the Wildcat DB stuck right with their men, and uh, Nathan Spicer was able to knock it down. Okay. Second down at 10 now for the Finley Trojans. Height drops back. Goes over to 83. Emke. Pickup of about four, maybe four. Long three. Give him three. I don't know. It looks like four, Huffman. Three and a half. We'll compromise. Okay. That'll work. Height goes to the air. Oh, Rothelberger was right there. Nothing doing. Johnny Huddle, Ryan Kramer, Nate Spicer in on that one. Fourth down and seven for Finley Trojans. Yeah, we're going to see a punt here. Here it comes. Wow. Kenny Peach was right there. Right there. 130. Left in the first half. Did you see the band starting to get ready? They're all down off their bleachers. And, wow. Getting ready for the almighty halftime show. Okay. Hey, maybe the Wildcats have the 130 drill. <laughs> okay. Rex over center. The give to Peach. 36. Try to turn it up. Met by about six Finley Trojan defenders. Wildcats keeping the ball moving. Wildcats up 14 to 3. Still a lot, a lot of football left to go. Fifty-seven seconds and ticking. Rex. They give the 36 Peach again. Oh, man. And he was brought right down. 53 caught the left side of Peach and just whoo, took him right down. 38 seconds and ticking left. Third down and nine for your Wildcats. Time slowly running out here in the first half. Anthony White, lanky legs, goes out. A tall, tall, tall Anthony White. Someone called the timeout. Finley know. Trojans called timeout. He won times. Preparing the teams. Pretty close on a number of plays ran by both teams. The Wildcats are eating up a lot more clock as they're running the football and that's keeping the clock moving for the Wildcats keeping their defense off the field and this Finley Trojan yes. defense has been on the field for quite a long time here in the first half under 20 seconds left real close to a first down for the Wild uh, no they're going to call it fourth and one to go and I think we're going to have the end of the half by the time we get to that point. Yes, indeed. Wildcats up 14 to 3 here at Finley's Donnell Stadium.
All right, we're back for the second half. But first, before we get to the second half action, we're going to go with the woman's point of view. I know this is normally Scotty's position, but he's MIA as he is missing in action. So we're here with Becky Boffman. And who did you bring up with us this week, Becky? This week we got Carrie Robbins, Tiffany Bosselman, Carolina Clerk and something, and, and me. <laughs> and we're here to do the women's point of view. Where's Kylie this week, Becky? Or Micaiah this week? <laughs> <laughs> Micaiah had to go back to Washington. She made another flying trip down to our state's capital, and she's doing a lot of stuff down there. <laughs> and what? She had to redo the voice of democracy. That is so exciting. <laughs> and uh, Becky, what do you think about tonight's game? We're playing awesome. Right now it's starting to rain, so hopefully the guys can keep a hold of the ball, it doesn't get too slippery. But they're doing really good. Ryan Kramer had um, a great touchdown and Brooks had a great touchdown, so hopefully they keep playing as well. Would any of the other girls like to say? I don't know much about football, but we're doing a good job out there. <laughs> we're cheering really hard, so the students are all psyched up. And anything else, girls? Oh, we... That's it, hope they have a great second a half. Thank you, ladies. Nope, we have now found Scotty. He has Scotty's come... back from that secret laboratory in the press box. Hey, I think we found the press box that uh, has something that Buckemeyer Stadium doesn't. Bathrooms? Bathroom, mm -hmm. <laughs> very helpful. Um, Where's Mikaya Klein? Mikaya is back in Washington. I Again? Was yeah, she'll go back for VOD. She's doing some diplomatic things in the state's capital. In the state's capital. No in way, capital. in the nation's capital. <laughs> What's she doing up there? I don't know. They she called got her summoned. back. Why didn't they call you back, Becky? See, Micaiah has got more experience than I do because she had the voice of democracy. Yeah. She's the winner of the voice of democracy. So, see, I, I'm not quite as qualified. I just got to go along to be her sister, her water girl. Her water girl. Yeah. Okay. So they actually wanted to save money. The government did. Yes. I, Whoa. I'm here to ruin <laughs> Instead it, of blowing give it. Seventy billion to Micaiah. What? <laughs> yeah. Seventy-two billion dollars. Wow. And I'm glad to say that she is my friend. <laughs> yes, and I, I hope she remembers that. I grew up with Micaiah. It'll find him billion. more trips to Washington to see in this great channel. Maybe MCTV. she'll remember her maybe she'll remember her per, her her true friends. Well, no, her <laughs> where she received her how do I want to say this? Elementary junior high education. Oh, that's a good point. Yes. Yeah. Uh, where was that, Scotty? St. Augustine Catholic oh, okay. School. Okay, well, we'll turn it back a over to you A great place guys. to learn. And then you can keep going with the game. All right. Thank you, ladies. All Looks right, like we're luck, about guys. ready for the kickoff Tiffany here. Tiffany Bossman, Becky, Kerry Robbins, and Carolina. Thanks Carolina. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, good deal. Thank you very, 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 very much. I'll run down some quick stats here, Scotty, before we have the kickoff. All right, off. Ryan, I it's don't think I'm going to get it done, but... Witted is going to be the Finley Trojans leading rusher as he's got 11 yards on three carries. Height is eight for 17 with 106 yards. And Roethlisberger has, I'm trying to add it up here, 61 yards of receiving for the Finley Trojans. The Wildcats, Ryan Kramer has 75 yards on five carries and one touchdown. Kenny Peach has 25 yards on five carries, and Brooks Pedraza has 53 yards on eight carries for the Wildcats. Scott Rex is one for four with 11 yards and one interception. Cordes is leading receiver seven, or number seven with 11 yards on one reception. Wildcats receiving 23 yard, or scoring, sorry. Scoring for the Wildcats, 23 yard run by Pedraza and point after touchdown was good by Russell. And 49-yard touchdown run by Kramer. Point after touchdown by Russell. All of the scoring for Finley Trojans, a field goal by Houston. So, those are our stats through one half of play. Hope you can understand those. We had a four-yard run on first down. Okay. Wildcats. We are back in action. Hey, we're ready to go. 11.06 in the third quarter. Score 14-3 here in Donnell Stadium. Pedraza has two carries each for four yards. 
And that's why we're at third down and two. Okay. Rexy. Working from the 41 yard line. The give to Ryan Kramer. Up oh, across the 45. Room. Brought down at about the 48 yard line. We'll say. We'll give him that. Real hard running by Ryan Kramer as he kept finding holes, kept finding holes going through him. Oh, yeah. Breaking a couple tackles. Great job by Ryan Kramer. Oh, yeah. I do believe that the rain has now ceased as we got. Oh, it's still coming down. Is it still coming yeah, down? Yeah, look, look at it, Ryan. Huh? Look at it. See it? Nope. Yep, not seeing it's it. It's still coming down. Scotty says it's coming down. It's coming down. It I is. guess I do see people going to their to the exits. So, well, uh, uh, I do have an umbrella for the sideline guys. I did stick one in, but uh, somebody will have to go get it. Okay, here come the Napoleon. Wild Cats. Rex, the give to no number 32, Brooks Pedraza, and he was tackled, I think, by a shoestring. <laughs> it couldn't have been much more than that as he was dropped. Going to bring up third down and five for your Wild Cats with 9.26 left in the third quarter. Brooks Pedraza coming off the injuries, really really getting a workout for the Wildcats. Oh, yeah. He's up to 12 carries now for 66 yards. And uh, I think he's going out for a breather as you got Peach and Kramer in the backfield. And that give, wow. Whoa. That I had to bend uh, Kramer. I think so. They try to unpile him. Yes, yes. Ryan Kramer. Fourth down and a long three for the Cats. Remember, if you remember last game, last year's game when uh, Finley came to Napoleon and beat up on the Cats. Oh! Wildcat ball! Oh, yeah! Number seven, Brad Cordes pounced on that when it went out of the hands of number 21, Mick Bloomfield. Wow! Wildcats had a <laughs> chance earlier in the game to uh, pounce on a fumble down there and didn't get the job done. This time, Brad Cordes hustled his butt down the line as he was a long snapper and still hustled down there. He was the first guy down there looking to make the tackle. He saw that uh, 20, 21 couldn't handle the punt and he pounced right on it and the Wildcats are back in business at the five yard line. In those situations that's when the punt helps you. Got the Cats down on the five yard line with 8.13 left in the third. To give to Brooks Pedraza for another touchdown. That's two for Brooks tonight. And one for Ryan Kramer. So uh, 20 to three. Now how big of a momentum changer is that as well. Wow. The Finley Trojans had the ball back, and uh, they give it right back to the Wildcats, and the Wildcats capitalize right away on the first play for scrimmage for a touchdown. Taking the air right out of these Finley Trojans. Kick is up and good. 21-3. to Well, I tell you what, the Wildcats uh, need to stay into this second half. And, you know, uh, Coach No talked about playing four quarters. Extremely important. Well, it's good to see that the Wildcats got a score in the second half. It's the last two games, the Wildcats have not scored a single point in the second half at BG or at Bryan. So at least the Wildcats have some offensive productivity, even though it was only a five-yard drive on the fumble by the Finley Trojans. But it's at its points in the second half and up to a 21-3 lead. And if the uh, Finley Trojans weren't forced to go to the air by just their ability, now they're really forced due to the score.
I wouldn't be surprised to see Ryan Height get into the 30s in his passing attempts. He's already at 17. Wow. We might have to make up a new sheet here, Scotty. Uh -oh. sheet only goes up to number 34. So. <laughs> well, we'll he's going to be close. Hey, I got plenty. I made the copies at the beginning of the year. I think I copied off about 100. <laughs> 809 left in the third. Important that the Wildcats stick it in. Stick together in these next two quarters. 21 to 3. Great job, Wildcats. Keep it up. Russell again puts one right back there. Finley still has problem holding on the ball. He managed to sometime. Oh, and brought down at the 16-yard line. A hard, hard hit right there. Another one of those hits, like Madden and Summerall would say, you can hear it up here. And we did. Well, let's see. Maybe you think Finley will go to the air? <laughs> they haven't done it much. <laughs> That's a sarcastic remark. But I, I think the they're in the shotgun formation with three wide receivers. I think we could see some more passes here in the second half. I'm surprised that Finley was able to hang on to that ball. They bobbled the last two times that they've uh, touched it. Seven, 44 and ticking. Finley gonna go to work. Got a few big guys checking out for Finley. A huge, huge contest here tonight. Wildcats are all over that screen play. Yep. They got three wide receivers on that side, sent a running back that way, and they tossed it to the running back, hoping that the wide receivers could get some blocking on the deploying defensive backs with the Wildcats. DBs shed the blockers and made a tackle after only a gain of about two. Always, of course, the Wildcat defense stepping it up. I think uh, Ryan, the drizzle has stopped. Height coming out this way. Being chased down by Josh Fruth, he's in trouble. Trouble was written all over that play. Anytime you're getting chased by Josh Fruth, number 55, All-American, trouble. There's your trouble. There's your trouble. Number 55, Josh Fruth. And guess what? Finley's going to punt. Snap, kick, up. Eight, Kramer picks it up across the 50. And right there, that's where he's going to be stopped at about the 49. That's where they're going to spot him. So Wildcats, well, they need to go 49 yards to score. 21 to 3. I think the Wildcats right now will uh, keep it on the ground and try and run off as much of this, um, as, well, as much as the third quarter that's left. And stop these. Finley Trojans. The quicker they take the time off the clock, the better off we'll be. Rex, of course, the handoff to 36, Kenny Peach. Kenny Peach picks up a gain of a, a one. Gonna bring up a long second down and nine. Wildcats checking in. Couple people. Okay. 6.03. Well, six minutes, actually. And ticking. 21 to 3. This is NCTV Channel 5. Rex under his center. Luke Glick. Glick. Excuse me. Rex. That was a gift. Number 32. Brooks Pedraza. That was just a play of uh, Brooks Pedraza following his blockers and staying right behind him. Going as far as they could go once as his blocker fell down he uh he was on his own he picked up a couple yards after that so a good play by the Napoleon Wildcats to get down to third and short yeah third and a short one 
Matthew Russell's coming down low. He's going to be your wide out. Kramer Belford Peaks in the backfield. Oh, they give us the Kramer. That ball might have been loose. I don't think he had a clean handoff. And nope. Wow, I don't see too much wow, cheering on wow, the Finley no. sideline, so I'm assuming the Wildcats still Wildcat ball. Yep. Gain Fourth him. down. And still one to go. It's an unfortunate play for the Wildcats is I think Ryan Kramer would have gotten a first down if they would have handled the uh, handoff. But the crazy cats are going to go for it. The give was uh, to 32 Pedraza. I think he should the, have the forward motion. If it's the guy spotting the ball on the toward the Wildcat side, the Wildcat side, it's going to be a first down. But I think if you're going with the guy on the Finley side, and oh, his oh no, and the spot keeps getting worse. <laughs> it does. Oh no. Coach Note, he's letting him know that's terrible. I think they're going to call that's terrible measurement, but I think the Wildcats are going to be short. They know they didn't. They're just trying to soften the blow. They know they didn't measure it. They didn't. They know they didn't spot it right. We got the Wildcats. That's a crock. Be about six inches short. I've been I've been good all year, refraining from these kind of comments. But the refs can all put a little change in their pockets from that call. I wouldn't go that far, Scotty. I think it just might have been a case of misjudgment by a referee on that. Yeah, well, we might just have a little better help in the matter. Height to give to number 30. He's up across the 50, through the 40, down to we about the 35-yard line. Flag on the field, line. Line. Flag on the field get Number 87 with a clip, <laughs> slash hold, slash something. As we've said before, uh, Ryan so Huffman, back. it's uh, great to see the other team making the mistakes. That's right. We've watched the Wildcats uh, make quite a few over the years. Great, great, great. It, I feel That might be one of the things that I feel the best about this year being able to watch the other team make the mistakes. We saw enough of them from our side last year. Yes. This year we're seeing the other teams make them. So yeah, that's gonna send the Finley Trojans back. That's a spot foul, so they're gonna yep. start like. It's gonna be a uh, loss of, it's well, gonna be first down and 11. Yeah, basically lost of, a, lost of a yard, but they keep the down. And the clock, guess what? It's still moving. Four minutes now. <clears throat> Seems like the Trojans do something positive and they get it all taken away. S Farnsworth chased down by number six, 55. Josh Fruth and leveled off by Brad Cordes. Josh Fruth had that wow. really sniffed out oh. from the beginning as he just ran Farnsworth down and brought him down by the shirt collar and Threw him for a loss of about five. Great play by Josh Bruce. Wow, this is NCTV Channel 5, your hometown public access channel. 323 and taking in the third, 21 to 3 in favor of your Wildcats. The snap. Height, of course, in the shotgun. Drops back. Looks up to number seven, Rufflesberger, and a little bit long. A little bit long. Great, great defensive play, especially by, uh, well, like, Ryan Kramer and Huddle. Uh, you know, when you always risk when a team goes to the air, a lot of, like, defensive pass interference penalties, and the Wildcats have been clean all night long. I don't want to jinx them, Sky, but you're right, and the Wildcats That's right. Do have less yards of penalties as the Wildcats only have 10 yards penalties still. All right. And uh, compared to the 25 of Finley's. So the Wildcats are doing a good job in the penalty category.
Height in trouble. Chased by Lees. Amarepa! Oh, boy. Pedraza and Zamarepa in there on that one. <laughs> Bring them down. Bring them down. Well, Wildcats are going to go to work again. Hey, and they get a little bit of a standing O over there. I look right immediately across the way, and I see uh, Mondo and Lynn Zamarepa. They were standing up over there. They're proud of their number 74. Yes, they are. Seems like this is taking forever. Called t Finley Trojans called timeout. Oh no. Yes, yes, yes. Finley, Finley, Finley. Had a great meal before the game. Made it the one and only Cracker Barrel. Delicious. Great. Houston puts that one right up there, and Kramer's going to let her fall. Oh, that's about it. Uh, Wildcats are going to start at about the 27-yard line. Actually, right on the 27-yard line. 2.53 left in the third, and Wildcats are going to go to work. Head up by Scotty Rex. Wildcats playing some great, great ball here. Still keeping it up. Sergio Morales checks into the game for number 80, Ryan Crandall. There's a few going. It looks like there might be some confusion, and he's got a Scott Rex has to call a timeout Friday. That is if you order them. Remember, get your orders to Rick Cruz or Lori Langenhop at the high school. I'd like to talk to you about the tailgate party that's going to be happening on Thursday the 15th. That give was to 32 Brooks Pedraza. Great to see Brooks back in the lineup, by the way. 239 and ticking. Uh, it's going to run on the 15th from uh, 6 to 8 uh, around there. It's going to be the same format as the one has been in the past in the days. There's going to be like the lip sync, the volleyball tournaments. Uh, National Honor Society is going to have a bake sale. There's going to be some other organizations doing things. Uh, there's going to be food, uh, your burgers and dogs and uh, all the fixings. More information to come on this later. We'll get it out to you as soon as we have more in-depth information. Should be a fun, fun time to kind of condense that a little bit. Going to have that Thursday night, the 15th of October. Hope to see you there at the high school. 158 and ticking. Right now would be a great time for the Wildcats to run some sort of pass play. As Finley's really crowding the line of scrimmage, and it's one-on-one -on -one coverage. And uh, here it is. And they hit Kenny... Kenny Peach. He's down the sideline. It's going to be a race. Finally, get him out. There's a flag at the 30-yard uh, line. They're going to get Ryan Kramer with a hold. I'm not sure. Kenny Peach is uh, pretty fired up. This will give the Wildcats a first down or not. Referees conferring. That's a clip. We have a clip against the, the Wildcats. Great to see Kenny Pizza out there catching the ball in the flats and running that up to the sideline. I thought the Wildcats had been run, 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 run. I thought play action pass right here would really open things up and the Wildcat coaching staff saw it the same way. Eighty seven Jeremy Wynn. Gonna bring that play in for the crazy cats. There he goes. He's going to bring up a third down and two on the spot foul. The spot foul took him from the 49 where the penalty was at back 15 yards to the 36 yard line. So now we got a third down and one. Rex to give to Brooks Pedraza. I think they probably have the spot this time. Coach Snow, he's standing right on it. Look at him. Oh, no. I don't think we're short again.
Yeah, we're about half a yard short. Now what's the deal? It's hard to tell. Nothing would seize the amaze me here at Finley's Donnell Stadium. The game is slow to a crawl here in the... But now I think the... Uh, just got an unsportsmanlike conduct on the Finley Trojans coaching staff. Ooh, Coach Cliff Height took off the headset and he's uh, standing out there. And now they definitely don't need to measure as 15 yards. When you we're going to get 15 Ooh, yards when yeah. you only need a half a yard. Maybe we'll see. You're out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, hey, hey, hey. I think uh, Finley now uh, has a, there, Brooks Pedraza still on his feet. Real close to another Wildcat first down up to about the 40. Just ran through the Finley Trojans. I wonder what the assistant cat said. As Brooks Pedraza is now nearing 100 yards of rushing. He's got 91 yards on 18 carries for the Wildcats. It'll be the first time in a long time we'll see a Wildcat with over 100 yards rushing. Ryan Kramer right now has 83 yards rushing on eight carries. Rex cutting that up across and uh, to the 30. Uh, the Finley Trojan 30 yard line. Twelve seconds left in the third quarter. Wildcats moving the ball down the field. School, and uh, this will this will be a big win. And uh, oh yeah, this, these three road games as a whole will be a very large win. And uh, they get another one next week. That'll be even just as big. Brad Quarter still on his feet, up to about almost the 25. We're going to call him down at about the 27-yard line. Well, Ryan Huffman, that four-week road uh, stretch is very resemblant of uh, the four weeks it takes in the playoffs. That's you're right. not home in the playoffs, buddy. That's right, you're not. So if it was my choice, I don't know, play all 10 on the road. And if you want to compare some to last year, which uh, I think most the po people from the point are trying to forget last year's football season, but these four away games that we played this year, we played all at home last year, and they went 0-4 at home. This year we're playing them all on the road right now. We're 2-0, and looking for 3-0. and Very true, uh, Ryan Huffman. We're going to hit Clay next week. And uh, there's so many things that you can look at. You know, we had two at home. Then we go well, four on the road. Well, part of that, you can say, well, we go four on the four and oh on the road. Well, inside of that almost is another little series. Well, well let's go three and oh against the GLL. That's and uh, you know what I mean? I mean, there's so many things. You know, four and oh on the road, three and oh in the GLL. I it'd be great. These bigger schools rack up points when that computer standings. Yep. And that's something the Wildcats want to get into the playoffs. That's been a goal for them all year. And these, against the bigger schools, they really rack up points for you. Went against Finley, went against Clay. And uh, that's something that'll really help the Wildcats. So these next two games are very, this game and the next game are very important for the Wildcats. Oh, yeah. Holding against the Wildcats there. We've got a hurt Finley Trojan. And it just seems like, well, you've got like four coaches down here by the 30, and then the Cliffite, he's clear back like to the to the 50 almost, just like standing by himself. And I mean, I don't know what came out of those coaches' mouths, but it couldn't have been anything too good. There's Zito, Tyler Zito. Rex in motion, still has the ball, goes to the end zone, oh man. Intended receiver Ryan Kramer, he was right there about the F and Finley. Real close. 
picked up a piece of that grass. Ryan Kramer did. 10-33 left in the fourth quarter. 21-3 in favor of your hometown Wildcats. Wildcats definitely out to play three quarters of ball. Excuse me, four. They've already played three, yes. But they've got one more left. 10-33, this is NCTV Channel 5. We've got Kramer and Cordes down low. Rex drops back in motion again the same way. Goes to the air, has uh, Brad Cordes wide open. Uh, gonna fall down at about, we're gonna give him uh, to the, that's the 21 yard line. Brings up fourth down and a long, and I do mean long, 13. Kyle Rex is now three of seven for 41 yards for the Wildcats and one interception. Oh, that kick, uh, nothing doing there. Attempted field goal. I think uh, Finley came into this game thinking, oh, the point, uh, push over, and we're bigger, they're smaller. Well, remember the uh, story of David and Goliath? Well, uh, I think we're experiencing something like that here tonight at Donnell Stadium. Height, the give, that was the number 30. Dan Witted, he comes up uh, across the 25 to the 36 yard line. No, excuse me, 26, my bad, my bad. Dan Witted is uh, Finley's re leading rusher with 19 yards on four carries compared to Brooks Pedrazo with 91 yards on 18 carries. Height, the give again to Witted. Witted comes around, a loss of uh, quite a few, about six. Well, this Finley, this, I, I think they need to revamp their offense, I think. Something I've no noticed throughout this football game is when the Finley Trojans come off the field, they're sitting on the benches, uh, lounging back. And when you look at the Wildcats over on the other sideline, you never see any of them sit down on the benches unless they're hurt. No helmets or, off. Yep. We got guys helmets with their helmets off. off. The whole uh, offensive, excuse me, defensive line, helmets off. Oh, that's a fumble. Fruth falls on that one. Wildcats ball, and I tell you what, that's uh, pretty much, I think, how Finley's going to fall here tonight. Well, Scotty Rex and his Napoleon Wildcats are going to go back to work. Great, great job for the Wildcats. It just seems like the team's even not segregated it. I mean, if you will, like you got a bunch down here and a bunch down here. The Wildcats are all just right there. That give was uh, to number, ooh, 36, Kenny Peach. Kenny Peach with a pickup of about two. Second down and eight. Eight, 29 and ticking left in the game. Ball. 11 times now in the second half. So that's a comparison why the Wild, the Finley Trojans just aren't getting plays to score the, to score, and the Wildcats are keep running the football and keep getting first downs. And that's why they're leading 21 to three. Coach Hite just uh, talked to Mr. Witted down there. Trying to reassure him, telling him it, it'll be all right. Third down and two for the Cats. We 
Rex got the full house backfield. The give to number seven, Brad Cordes. He's up to about the 15 yard line. For some reason, Finley's clapping. He may be, yeah, I think he's short, yes. Time out for measurement, he's real close. He is real close. Wow, I mean the ball's right on the hash and so is the marker. Ryan Huffman, this one's gonna be close. Are you want me, wanting me to make a call here, Scott? I don't know, one? I'm I had to make tonight. one. I, I think I he's an inch short. Yes. No, I think he's got it. I think he's an inch short. Oh my gosh. Scotty, mark me up for another one. I am now three for three on the night. You got it, Ryan. I do have the eagle eye. You do. We've got two different views. We're kind of looking out of, if you can imagine, a 90 degree angle. And I'm looking out of a window on the straight line part of it. Uh, and Ryan's yeah. looking out of a window going, uh, coming up. Like, if you Blame draw it one, on the window, going straight up. Blame it, it on the windows. Yes. I see. Timeout, Finley. Wildcats ready to go to work. 7.09 left in the game. Hey, 21 to three it is. Rex the give up the middle to big number 32, Brooks Pedraza. I think you can they even say call he's this got one. It. This is a first down. Yep. I think I can. Looks good to me. Here come the crazy cats. Had it up by Scotty Rex with a minute, or first and 10 right now for the cats. Rex fakes it, yeah, in trouble, going down. And then there was a peach and uh, number one. Doug Draper fighting out there. Ref's talking to Doug Draper right now. I think the temperatures are starting to flare up here. Be watching out for number one. 620 and ticking. It's ticking. Wildcats coming up to the line of scrimmage. 21 to three. Here we go, the full house backfield and Ryan Kramer to the top of your screen, the very top. Rex the give to number seven, Brad Cordes up to just across the 10 and to about the nine yard line. Gonna bring up third down. And uh, five. I'd like to mention that Ryan yes. Kramer has scored. I forgot to mention this earlier after Ryan Kramer's touchdown. He has scored in every football game this year for the Wildcats and he's the only person to do so for the Wildcats. And I think uh, the season record, I believe, let me get out a point in the home team program. We'll see what the uh, season record is for touchdowns. The point's gonna be a little bit short on that first down. Let's see, I would imagine they'd go for it. The point football records. Most points. No, oh, excuse me, that's, I need to find most touchdowns scored by an individual in his career. And that record is currently held by Tom Weaver. He had 20 from 1975 to 1977. So I guess if you're gonna, I mean, I guess he's gonna have to get 20 or more touchdowns. That's the way it sounds, Scotty. Yes. I'm not real sure how many he had last year for that record, or how many he needs this season to approach that record. He's up to yeah. eight now on uh, this year season. at the halfway point. Are you sure that's eight, Ryan? I do believe that that's eight. Okay. I'll take I your word for it. I think he had seven going into today. Is it the cat's ball? Yes, it is. Ryan Height in trouble, though. That should be in uh, some kind of grounding as it was a pass to his lineman, number 56, who was already on his knees. For crepe's sakes. 438 left in the game. 
21 to 3. I think we got another one of those refereeing crews, Huffman. The Wildcats not are playing so bad, tough, though. I don't think the not much the referees can do to throw this game the other way. Yeah. We're down under five minutes remaining at 437. Number seven, Rogelsberger. Rogelsberger. It's height on the carry. Oh, it was. Height trying to do something there. These Amber up are hurrying off the field. He makes it off. That was a give the witted. Finley. First down and ten for Finley. I just I don't think they go about a game right. I still think that they should establish a run game, but they didn't and they don't, so brought down by number eight, Ryan Kramer, that's Rufflesberger. Athletic director Dwayne Ressler is now in our booth. He's pretty excited. Big, big smile. Okay, here's Height. Second down and two for Height and the Fenley Trojans. Height going to go to the air, has a Rufflesberger for a first down, still on his feet, up to about the 40 yard line. Clock stops with 308 left in the game. 21 to 3. <laughs> 305 left in the game. Heights going to work. First down and 10. Height drops back. Josh Ruth chasing him. Robbie Moden, uh, no. We get a number on there. Chris Shaggins gets him by the shoestrings with 240 and ticking left in the game. Scott Rex checks in. Going to do a play, play a little bit of defense. Drop back. Getting himself positioned up. Height again. Going to the air. Has Rothelsberger. That was uh, Brad Cordes and Rex in there on the stop. I think the Wildcats need to tighten it up. Right now, 213 left in the game. Wildcats need to stop these Finley Trojans. Cannot let them score late in the game. For that would make the game closer than what it seems because this has been a totally dominated Napoleon blowout. Height to Rothelsberger. Somehow he uh, manages to keep it nice open field tackle by number seven, Brad Cordes. This has been the only sustained drive by the uh, Finley Trojans here in the second half as they've actually moved the ball Almost 50 yards, but yeah. it's a. Is that their first way 50 too yards? Little, way too late. And to the air again is Rothelsberg. Needs to be tackled. Oh, and uh, ah, there's no way he could have been down on that ball. Well, uh, maybe. You guys will have to look at it at home and make the decision, and you let me know, okay? But flag on the play with 125 Got left it. in the game. Illegal formation on the Finley Trojans. Oh. No. So that's going to send them back five yards. Typical of their normal drive, making a penalty. Second down now and eight. I'm going to put them at the... Are you sure? 
That looks to me like that'd be second down and 11. Height out of the shotgun. Gonna keep it. Wrapped up by 74 at the feet. And 66, Rob Moden. Josh Fruz was just talking to Robbie Moden there, giving him a little heart to heart. And I'm sure, I'm sure, a little heart to heart. You got defensive holding on the Wildcats. Defensive holding, though, on the Cats, the crazy Cats. Is that Ramos in the game? Number 59. That would be Dave Ramos. Oh, yeah. With minute 10 left in the game. Well, I found a negative here in the second half for the Wildcats. They do have 35 yards of penalties here in the uh -oh. second half. They only had 10 in the first half. So something to work on for next week. Yeah. yeah. Always trying to look for things to improve on. Always. Always. It wouldn't be right. Practice would be boring if there'd be nothing to work on. Height. R complete to Rothelsberger inside the 10-yard line to about the 8. And this might be a different story if Finley could have done this all night. But they'll have a mistake here in a little bit, I'm sure. <clears throat> First down and eight, it says. Which I think is a goal to go. First down and goal to go. Height. Scramble in. Still on his feet and brought down. 40 seconds and ticking left in the game. Coach Height calls a timeout with 38 seconds left. These, what's the one thing the Wildcats got, Ryan Huffman? We haven't said it yet tonight, but they do have tenacity. We need to say it every game. Out of the outreached hands of Farnsworth. 33 seconds left. I'd like to mention that Ryan Height has made his stats look a little more impressive as he's, before that incompletion, had completed his last five passes. And Roethlisberger has... 121 yards receiving. On 11 catches. <laughs> 33 seconds left. And the game, Rooney height. Oh, yeah! There's one of those uh, ceiling hits by John Huddle. John Huddle. 30 seconds left now. Man, when they pass, it takes forever. Finley has no timeouts left, just to let you know that. <laughs> Wildcats have two left. Height drops way back. Oh, man. Number 60, Chris Shaggett, and I think 65, Buzz Kramer. Yep. Was the other. Wow. The Wildcats they able to stop. Put the score. hurt on Ryan Height, and that's what the Wildcats have done all night. And not a better way to show it than right there at the end of the game. Congratulations, Wildcats. Shut those Finley Trojans down. I'm going to give you some quick stats for the game. Ryan Height had 10 Yards rushing on nine carries. Dan Witt was re leading rusher with 14 yards on six carries. Farnsworth had one yard rushing on three carries. And Ryan Height was 16 of 31 for 175 yards and no touchdowns or inter interceptions. Like I said, Roethlisberger, 11 ca catches for 121 yards. Their only scoring came on a field, got field goal by Houston. For the Wildcats, leading rusher, Brooks Pedraza coming back off the injury. 93 yards on 19 carries. K. Peach had 32 yards on 8 carries. And Ryan Kramer, 84 yards, 10 carries. Scott Rex, 4 yards, 6 carries. And Brad Cordes chipped in a nice little 31 yards on 5 carries. Scott Rex passing. He was 3 for 7, 41 yards, 1 interception, no touchdowns. Uh, receiving for the Wildcats had uh, Cordes for... 11 yards, Kenny Peach at 20 yards receiving. Brad Kors had another 10 yards receiving. 
And scoring for the Wildcats, 23-yard touchdown run by Petraza. Point after touchdown by Russell. 49-yard touchdown run by Kramer. And a point after touchdown, Russell. Five-yard run by Pedraza. Point after touchdown was good by Russell. Concludes the scoring for the DePoint Wildcats. We've got 19 seconds remaining. Great game by the Wildcats. They stuck to the game plan to keep the ball on the ground. They did it all night. Holes just opened up continuously for the Wildcats by the great offensive line. Did a great job tonight. That offensive line has been improving ever yes. since week one. We're down to 2-1. That's the game. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Your Wildcats victorious. 21 to 3. Here at Finley's Donnell Stadium. There's a handshake by Coach Snow, Cliff Height. Cliff Height's going to head on home. Everybody's shaking their hands. The good sportsmanship like. Way to do. Wildcats definitely indeed did play their four quarters of ball here tonight. Wildcats should be proud of that, but now they're going to go and work. I think, uh, what are the Wildcats going to work on this week in practice, Ryan? Well, I, I'm i not real sure what they can work on. Well, the pat, they did give up 174 yards passing to Ryan Height, but putting the ball up 31 times, that's probably a pretty good job by the DBs yeah. and uh, the defensive line and the defense as a whole. They still did have Oh, almost 50 yards of, of exactly 50 yards of penalties so that's something they can work on but uh, they played a really great game would like to see some scoring in the fourth quarter and maybe some more in the second half as a whole the offense bogged down just a little bit but they did a great job great job by the Napoleon Wildcats yes indeed a truly truly tremendous job by your hometown Napoleon Wildcats. I tell you what, there's not really much else that I have to say. Wildcats again on the road at Clay. I'd like to see everyone out there uh, next Friday night. Then we come home, uh, home to face Fostoria for homecoming. Uh, great, great job, Wildcats. Congratulations to the team and uh, Coach Snowd. Truly a tremendous job. And uh, may uh, the forces be with you and you guys keep practicing hard, hard, hard weeks of practice and uh, keep it together and keep focused uh you can look ahead a little bit but uh remember keep it one week at a time one game at a time hey for cameraman adam sickmiller barry spurlock uh, tim moranville and aaron Ozens and uh, jeremy rebusell and for ryan huffman i'm scott spicer saying we'll see you next week